What's up YouTube, Russ Lee here. Guys, this is gonna be a update video real quick on uh, my 10 and a half inch build, uh, air build. Uh, so let's just get right into it. Uh, you've seen the, my lower receiver, upper receiver, uh, and my rail. And, well, so at where I work at, uh, I got them coated. So I personally did all the sandblasting and stuff and prepping. And then our painter painted them, so that's pretty cool. I took part in my own receiver set. So let's start right off with the uh, upper, but I'm gonna tell you guys. So we used a satin mag base, uh, then tungsten and graphite black Cerakote, like to create the, the look, which is a distressed or battle-worn. That's what I like. So here we go, here's the upper. Almost looks like like a metallic, or it looks metallic, like a, like a almost like you know this is aluminum, but it almost looks like a raw aluminum finish a little bit. But there's black, like like it was black and you know worn off, worn down, distressed. I really like the way that looks. Let's look at the at the rail here. Take it out of the box. The rail. This is a Aero Precision rail. Aero Precision Lower, and I think it was like an Anderson Manufacturing Upper, it's the only upper I could find at the time. All right, let's put this back real quick. Now let me show you the... Sorry we hear the car's radio out there, my neighbors. All right, so this is the uh, Aero Precision Lower. It's real clear. You can see all that real good what worn right there. Distressing. Uh, so also I Cerakoted the, I just stuck it in there for now, the Magpul um, Curry Guard. Stick that guy back in there for safekeeping. Okay, also I had ordered a Strike Industries, which I'm not a huge fan of Strike Industries stuff, but I figured this wouldn't matter. It was a Strike Industries uh, mag button, and it was red. It's the only color they had, so I went ahead and, it, but it's metal. So I went ahead and sandblasted that, and we Cerakoted and distressed that. So bye-bye red. Now I don't even know it's Strike Industries. I guess not that it matters, but just, you know. Right now getting parts is kind of harder to find, and so that's what I did. Uh, so there you go. That's the receiver set. Also, I picked up a used SBA three from SB Tactical Pistol Brace. SBA three. So there you go. That's uh, another thing I just got picked up. Uh, I show you all my bulk carrier group. Well, I got I switched that one out. It was a brown L's, um, but I also got another brown L's now. But now I got a ten coated the gold one. Just thought that'd be cool. Never had a 10 coated BCG, so yep. And then another thing I picked up for this build is the Streamlight ProTac Rail Mount 2. So a Streamlight light comes with the batteries, the mount, and it's got a pressure switch included in this already. So let's see, you see the uh, sorry right there. Yeah, you'll see there it it comes with all the, the rail mount, the picket, uh, um, the rail mount, the pressure switch, the light, batteries, comes with everything you really need. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next, the only thing else I need is two, I think two more things to complete this build. And that is a muzzle device, which I already have. It's already put on hold for me at work. Uh, it's a dead air uh, QD for my suppressor. I'm gonna slap that bad boy on there. I'll probably pick that up tomorrow. And then I need a trigger. The trigger I do not have, so, and I wanna kinda get a decent trigger, so. So I picked up a Geisley trigger for the kit. So, yep, it's the uh, GS2, or G2S. Off 
off on this but but yep that's it guys so hey guys uh i appreciate you guys watching i appreciate all you guys that do reach out to me and vice versa uh i like the little community we have it's pretty cool so uh, and I haven't been posting that much lately, but, you know, I apologize, this new job, I just don't have as much time, but at the same time, I just enjoy my quality of life better, so, you know, it is what it is. Alright guys, we'll catch you in the next video, peace out.